All right, so I'm back again with another Ocean Solution Master Blend test. Last time I had a different test. You can see that one uh, by clicking on the link here. Um, this time I'm going to do a bit different one. I'm going to do foliar feed. So I'm going to spray one of the boxes, which is going to be the right one with the Master Blend in it. I'm going to spray that one with a, a 1 to 100 parts solution of the Ocean Solution 203. So I'm going to dilute one part of Ocean Solution to 100 parts of water and spray them once a day in the morning or in the afternoon. Either is good when there's not a lot of sun. So these boxes at this moment are equal. I filled them up with rainwater. The rainwater here um, has gone up a bit. Last time it was about 60 parts per million. Now it's 120 parts per million. And that's because the rain, there's been so little rain, whenever there is a little bit of rain, it takes dust off the roof into the rainwater tank. So we're now at 120 parts per million of total dissolved solids, which is whatever is in there, all kinds of minerals and salt and whatever was in the air. So um, that basically starts it off at the same water again, same location again. And the pH is actually pretty stable. Uh, you can see here the, the pH. I, I lost my other test kit. I didn't lose it, but I, it broke. And so I'm using this General Hydroponics droplet test kit. And you can see that the pH of both of these are the same, going in at neutral, about seven. So um, let's get this nutrients in here. I'm gonna get the master blend nutrients here. They're gonna be equal, and then after that, I'm going to start doing foliar spraying each day for the whole duration. Okay, so I have the nutrients mixed. I mix mine in these little canisters that I recycle. What I basically do is I got my calcium in one of them and I got my master blend and the Epsom salt in there. So we got the calcinate, which is calcium nitrate, and then we got the other one, which is the master blend mix plus the Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate. And I got that in both, so on the other one as well. So what I do is if I undo this one here, you see this, I got my calcium marked in here, calcinate, I already mixed it pretty well, and I add it to the water. That's that one. And then I'll do the same for the master blend which is one-handed operation here. You can see the color of that. There you go. That's basically good enough for me. And I'll do the same thing if I can keep the camera a bit still here. For these guys here, I add this to the water. Here's my calcium. Calcium it. Exact same amount of grams. I have a little digital scale to measure that out. And those. So that adds them to the water. Now I'm going to have it mixed. I'm going to have a little test for the total dissolved solids to see how that goes and the pH if I need to bring that down. And usually I have to bring it down a little bit, but not much, if at all. So let's uh, get, get, check that out. Okay, so the nutrients are mixed in here now. And um, they're about equal. Let me check it out. It's accurate enough for me. I brought it up to 1400. Here it's a little bit higher here it says. Let me see here. 1430 is what it says in this one. And 1440 in this one. Accurate enough, 10 parts per million is not going to make a difference. 1420, it changes a little bit. And 1440, 30, 40, 30, yeah, it's almost the same. That's pretty accurate, accurate enough for me. So the, the pH I tested as well, comes out to be just above 5.5, about, about 5.8 in both of these. Of course, these circumstances are exactly the same as filling them. So now it's time to fill them up. Close these things up with, uh, fill them up with babies, fill them up with plants. So I'm going to close them off and put the babies in and then I'll come back again. So here's where I start my little babies. 
same seeds exactly as last time but the only difference is this time I started them off in my starter box here giving them a little bit of an edge or a little bit of a well basically the first two weeks of growth are in this box instead of last time I stuck them quite fast when they were really tiny into the box directly so that's the only difference here that I started off these seeds in my new starter box over here all right so here we are the boxes are closed and the babies are in the baby plants are in it's a bit windy as you can see I screw these boxes down on all corners making sure I get no little animals in there I usually get some frogs that try to crawl in and things like that and a little bit of crack here but nothing much that anything can get in and it keeps the moist trapped in there as well so here you go this is the uh, two boxes identically planted we're talking pak choy is here at the front these guys here pak choy is actually a double one these guys are amsoys right that's an amsoy sun breaking through now it's about nine o'clock i think in the morning and over here we got the mizuma and you can see a nice green mizuna both boxes identical I try to distribute the plants equally so that we actually have similar size in all boxes. Now it's a question of checking it out. So both boxes are completely identical, exactly identical. There's only one difference. I'm going to be spraying this box, the right box, once a day with a solution that is one part Ocean Solution 203 and 100 parts water, which is again the same rainwater I used before at 120 parts per million. I don't have any other distilled water, so I'm going to use the rainwater with the Ocean Solution. So this box will be left completely alone, the left box, and the right box will be sprayed once a day in the mornings or in the evenings, whatever is some. Um, whenever I'm around and I have the time but I'll make sure that I'm gonna spray them either one once in the morning or once in the afternoon so one time a day with ocean solution 100 parts water and one part ocean solution so let's take a look at this test we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll see the difference between the last test